and there's footprints and there's there's whole hooves, there's bike tracks, there's everything. Sorry, but, sorry, you're gonna stop. You can't use that. What? You said whole hooves. <laughs> <laughs> So I was just flicking through Facebook the other day and a friend of mine who lives here um, said, oh, we're just exploring some of the old tunnels in Whitchurch. And I said, um, tunnels in Whitchurch? I didn't know there were tunnels in Whitchurch. Yep. And it turns out there's like three or four. How did we not know this? I feel ashamed, Rebecca. You should feel ashamed. I know. But like we live like four miles from this location and apparently there's three or four tunnels that I didn't know of. to see this if we were actually just doing the line properly. Good morning everybody, uh, welcome to a new video. Two important things today, number one, we're doing a giveaway. You can win an item of our merch. We're giving away two pieces of Ooh. merch. Ooh. All you need to do is answer a question that will be asked at the end of the video. And you can't skip through the rest of the video because the answer to that question is in the video somewhere. Indeed. So put your answer to the question that will be asked in the comment below and we will pick within a week of publication of the video, we will pick two correct answers and get in touch and you can claim your uh, piece of merch. Number two, when is a tunnel not a tunnel? What defines a tunnel? I don't know, what does define a tunnel? Does it, does it have to go through something that's man-made or not man-made as it were? And does length matter? We're doing a video today from the Didcot, Newbury and Southampton Railway and we're doing a section that's fairly close to our house and we're kind of having to look at some of the detail and it, we're finding so much more than we would ever have done doing it every disused station where we go from station to station to station. Now we're getting very close to, this isn't really a tunnel apparently, it's more of an underpass um, next to the big old viaduct. So we're going to go and have a look at the viaduct for the first time. Again, something else we probably wouldn't have done in an every disused station. Very true. And apparently there's a tunnel here. So why was there a tunnel next to this embankment and underneath the embankment and next to the uh, viaduct? Ah, here we go, here we go. Um, right, that's tunnel number one of three or four from today complete and we think it's for uh, irrigation for the farmer's field perhaps. Okay we're just approaching the viaduct which looks amazing and what's even more amazing is the piece of ice, the icicle hanging down Can you, get a, can you get a good shot of the uh, viaduct, Rebecca? Any, um, any good shots of the viaduct? Can't see the viaduct. What oh, viaduct? Really? Oh, was that one? Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> Okay, so this is this is close to the centre of Whitchurch. Um, we're going to go have a look at Whitchurch Station, the underpasses and all the funky bits, and then head a bit further north to where we're going to try and find the old tunnels that we referred to earlier. Okay. I love how when bridges were built on a kind of a slight angle, they angled all the bricks as well. Oh yeah, because it's so, really funky. The yeah. top of the park goes yeah. kind of weird. Yeah. Probably some Whitchurch old station. You can see it up here, it's got the grey walls, uh, main station building. Okay. Right, so around the back now on the public footpath and about to go underneath because the underpass still exists, right? Yes. Hmm. What did you find, Rebecca? I found some old gate posts, it looks like. To the old gate posts hmm. with this side of the platform. And you go down here and go under 
to the other side. walking um, along a bit of the embankment, see what we can see, but we're going to head north and find some old tunnels. We'd never get to see this if we were actually just doing the line properly. We'd go and see Wychurch, which we've done before, but we wouldn't come and see what was probably a goods yard to the south of Wychurch yep. on this embankment. And it's beautiful. And there's an old um, bridge we're just about to walk across. This is so good. We'd never do this before, no, we would we? Come on Rebecca, you're a BMX. Think like a BMX. Yes. Well I've no idea how this video is going to take shape as yet. It's, it's supposed to be a short punchy one so hopefully it is. But don't you normally like plan it ahead? Not really, I just kind of, we just kind of wait. I just film and see how it gets put together. No. You take like our, our my favourite video is the Sapton Canal Tunnel. Your favourite? We didn't plan it. No, We true. just We just put all the clips together and kind of so oh, that kind of works <laughs> and then it comes out okay in the end but yeah. you just there's no plan right so we're north of Wychurch station now and we're carrying on the trek in this general direction for uh, the search of a couple of tunnels so basically the question we asked was when is a tunnel a tunnel well this tunnel was built for the Didcot Newbury and Southampton Railway on the count that it went underneath the London South Western Railway's main line and the station is right above us. So Wychurch station on the London South Western Railway is right above us. Tantamount to the fact that you can see a train there now. So when the London South Western Railway built their line in 1854 between the Basingstoke and Andover and the, the West South West Main Line, they didn't really use many tunnels and they just used these massive embankments to, to you know, get their way through the landscape. Subsequently, when the Didcot, Newbury and Southampton Railway wanted to build perpendicular to their line through here and to the south, they had to bury themselves through one of those embankments and subsequently they built this tunnel. So this tunnel is probably only what 100 yards long, less than that. But it's still, it's still longer than some of the tunnels that we've we've been through, like bona fide tunnels yeah, that's true. that went through the land. So, is this a tunnel? I suppose it has to be. Yeah, it is a tunnel. Yeah. Every day it's a tunnel. Right, before we head further north for some more bits and pieces, there's another tunnel. So yes, you've got this tunnel here, um, double track tunnel for the Dickot Newbury Railway, um, Dickot Newbury Southampton Railway. <laughs> It's really difficult to think at the moment because I'm so cold. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not working. Yeah, there's another tunnel. Come this way. Okay. So this tunnel is parallel to the actual railway tunnel and it's very strange it's, um, in terms of its design. It kind of dips again in the middle. So my presumption, it's fairly wide. I'm going to presume, however, it's like a farm access, perhaps, because uh, it's wide enough for a vehicle. It's quite tall. Right, slightly off topic. Um, there's a level 3.5 geocache, a 3.5 out of five. Rebecca, I mean, be careful. So we're, we're having a look to see if we can find that really tricky geocache. Hasn't been found since April last year. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, size is like two out of five. So not micro, <laughs> but small. So the question is, can you see it? Um, we can't. But if you have a look and uh, yeah, look at me panning up and down. And uh, yeah, can you see it? Can you stop the camera? Can you stop the film and see it? We can't. Always pick up your litter. <laughs> right. okay. So not for the first time today, um, we've got to an area where we would have never dreamt of coming, would we? Nope. And yet look at it. It's a most well-trodden footpath, Lovely. but it's not marked on the map. We wouldn't have come along here mm. had it not been for our mate, Faye. Thanks, Faye. 
uh, telling us to come along this stretch. And it's beautiful, isn't it? it is we, this is this is proper track bed walking. There's birds. There's a little bit of snow. It's cold, but. Do you know what? It's pretty. It's really pretty, isn't it? I can it? imagine in the summer when it's all green oh, as well. Yeah. It's going to be lovely. This is this is what a lovely little walk this is turning out to be. I never knew that was only near this big from underneath. It's a, it's only often that you go underneath the viaducts, so you get an appreciation of how big they actually are. Oh god, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Like that and the one above. we did the other day with David, yeah. I did with David. Well, it's got three. Exactly, it's got arches. three big arches. So that leaves us with only one more thing to do, or two really, one of which is... The question! So yes, in the video um, we have talked about the answer to the question, and the question is... What to date is Paul's favourite video we have done so far? Right, so if you know the answer to that question, because we said it in this video, put the answer in the comments below and you will be in with a chance of winning um, one item of merch. So we will pick two people at random after a week of this video being live. So put your answer in the comments below and yeah, you can be in a chance with winning the merch. Yep. So that leads us to end the video. Thanks for watching. We hope you like the little lockdown local videos that we're doing at the moment because that's all we can do. Um, we feel it's better than the lockdown we did in the early part of the summer because we did a little indoor like ones. Panic, panic lockdown. Panic lockdown, yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people had panic lockdown yeah. the first time around. <laughs> so this time we think it's a little bit better, hopefully. We can give you some half decent content. Um, but we do appreciate your support and your continued viewership. So that's really, really useful for us. We've got Patreon, we've got all other means. We'll put those in the link below where you can help us yeah. continue to grow the channel and uh, yeah it uh, we will bid you farewell like subscribe comment down below etc